everyone. This is Neva from Exactly English. I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm gonna explain to you a new lesson which is about passive voice. If you want to understand this lesson perfectly well, please stay in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. معكم ندى من قناة Exactly English لتعلم اللغة الإنجليزية. أتمنى أن تكونوا على خير. ولا زلت معكم في السلسلة الخاصة بدروس الثانية بكالوريا ودرسنا اليوم سيكون حول Passive Voice أي المبني المجهول قبل أن نبدأ في الشرح أطلب منكم أن تشتركوا في القناة وتفعلوا الجرس وتضعوا لي لايك إن أعجبكم الفيديو لكي نستمر في العطاء So let's start diving As I told you before Today I'm gonna explain to you the passive voice and how to use it perfectly well But please, before we start, I recommend you to concentrate and pay attention with me till the end. All right. Something that you should pay attention to, that in the passive voice, the focus is deeply done on the action, then the door. I mean, in the passive voice, we try to give a huge importance to the action, to the verb, then the door. We don't care about the door. Who did the action? Clear? في درس المبني للمجهول يكون التركيز على الفعل أكثر من الفاعل. مثلا نقول: ضرب الولد، أكل الطعام، أنجز الدرس، سيشرح الدرس. في هذه الأمثلة قمنا بالتركيز على الفعل أكثر من الفاعل، أي من قام بالفعل. جيد. Something that you should again pay attention to that there are two types of sentences or voices in fact. Two types of voices. Active voice and passive voice. In the active voice you can find subject, verb and object. While In the passive voice, you find object and verb. Who did the action is not important. Clear. في اللغة عامة نجد نوعين من الخطاب. خطاب عادي أو جملة عادية وجملة مبنية للمجهول. نقول مثلا شرح الأستاذ الدرس شرح هنا فعل الأستاذ فاعل الدرس مفعول به In English we say The teacher explained the lesson The teacher is the subject, explain verb, and the lesson is the object. لكن إذا أردنا أن نعيد كتابة هذه الجملة في درس المبني للمجهول نقوم بحذف الفاعل ونركز فقط على الفعل والمفعول به. يمكن أن نكتبها بهذا الشكل. شرح الدرس من شرح الدرس لا يهمنا In English we say The lesson was explained إذا أردت أن أضيف من أقوم بكتابة by by of course the teacher So I repeat, there are two types of sentences or voices, passive and active. In the passive voice, you have uh, object, verb, and you don't care about the door. However, in the active voice, you find subject, يعني لنا الفاعل, verb, الفعل, and the object, المفعول به. Clear. Here is the structure of the passive voice. 
I mean, if you want to form verbs in the passive voice, you have to pay attention to the structure. تغيير الزمن يعني تغيير القاعدة في الدرس المبني للمجهول. So, if you sentence in the present simple, you should add is or are plus the past participle. What do I mean by past participle is the third form of the verb. Example, speak, past simple, spoke, and the past participle is spoken. In the passive voice, we use the past participle, I mean the third form, this form. So, you should pay attention to. Let me, let me tell you something. In the passive voice, we work with verb to be and the past participle. Clear. If you have again sentence in the present simple, you should add is or plus the past participle. And simple past was, were plus past participle. In the present continuous, you should rewrite the sentence by using is, are, plus being, plus the past participle. Past continuous, was, were, plus being, and past participle. Remember, the use of the past participle in the passive voice is very important. تصريف الثالث للفعل له دور مهم في الباسيف voice أي المبني المجهول. In the past continuous, was were plus been plus past participle, present perfect have or has plus been plus the past participle. يعتمد على ال object أي المفعول به. إذا كان مفردا, use has. أما إذا كان جمع, نستعمل have. Past perfect had plus been plus the past participle. Future simple, which is will, plus be, plus the past participle. And be going to, plus be, plus the past participle. وشأنهم شأن المودل verbs. Modal verbs, may, might, shall, should, could, can, and the rest, plus be, plus the past participle. دعوني أقدم لكم هذه القواعد في مجموعة من الأمثلة ليسهل عليكم الفهم. Some examples in the active voice, and we're asked to rewrite them into the passive voice. لنلقي نظرة على مجموعة من الأمثلة في active voice ومطلوب منا إعادة كتابتها في the passive voice. تذكروا in the active voice نبتدئ أي في الجملة العادية نبتدئ بالفعل فاعل المفعول به. لكن في the passive voice المبني للمجهول نبتدئ بالobject plus verb plus the subject. So, here is the subject. اختياري. So, let's see. Here is a sentence in the present simple. This sentence is in the present simple. And this is the structure of the passive voice. The verb in the sentence should be preceded by is or are. And the verb itself should be in the past participle. Any. Here, we say... The patient, اللي هو object for the sentence. Patients is plural. هذه الجملة أو لهذه الكلمة هي جمع. That's why I should add are. لو كانت لدي مفرد كنت استعملت is. نقول و say are. So the verb here, الفعل هنا treat. The past participle of the verb هو treated. إذا أردت إضافة السبجكت يجب كتابة باي ونقول باي ذا دكتور يعالج المرضى من قبل الطبيب كلير كما يمكن قول يعالج المرضى هنا المعنى واضح كلير let's see the sentence in the past Simple. Again, we're going to start with the patients. The patients, المرضى. So remember, the patients is in the plural form. We should write were. Were. And the past participle of treated is treated itself. 
Remember when the verb ends with ed, the past participle itself is ed. Again, treated. By, min taraf, min qibel, the doctor. Okay? Okay, let's see sentence number three, which is in the present continuous. Remember, this is the form of the present continuous. We write the patients, who are object in the sentence, who will mafoul be, plus the verb, the patients are plural, being, being, we try to take this ing. And stick it to B and rewrite the verb into the past participle. نأخذ ال ing ونضيفها ل B ثم نعيد كتابة ال verb into the past participle. It becomes تصبح treated. Of course, by من قبل the doctor. كذلك في هذه الجملة ال past continuous the patients. المرضى الجمع were being past participle treated من قبل by the doctors again in this uh, so let's see the sentence which is in the present perfect the patients الجمع عند الجمع نضيف have لو كان مفردا نقول has the patient one patient has the plural have the patients have been past participle again treated هذه قاعدة ال passive voice المبني للمجهول present perfect has or have plus past participle becomes in the passive voice have plus been plus treated تذكروا قلت لكم في الباسي فويس نستعمل كثيرا ب و الباس بارتيسيبل لاحظوا اوكي ذس از بي اول رايت كلير ليتس سي ذا باس سيمبل ذا باس بيرفكت اوف ذا سنتنس ذا دكتور اور ذا بيشنتس اوكي So had لديها تصريف واحد سواء في الجمع أو المفرد فنقول had تذكروا قاعدة passive voice يجب إضافة been treated by إذا أردت أن أشير للفاعل أضيف by by the doctor So here for future perfect, sorry, future simple, uh, the doctor or the patient, the patients will plus what? Plus B plus the past participle of treat is treated. Menkibel by the doctor. A bil Arabia. المرضى سيعالجون من قبل الطبيب أو سيعالج المرضى. Here is going to the same the patients. All right, sorry. Let me change the color. The patients. هنا الجمع نقول are. Going to ماذا يجب أن نضيف B past participle of treat treat treated من قبل by the doctor نفس القاعدة تهم المودل verbs may might should can shall must And so on, so for we say, اخترتوا لكم modal verb should. فنقول the doctor. 
سوري <تصفيق> يجب ان نبتدئ بالابجكت وليس الفاعل ذا بيشنتس شود بي ذا باست بارسيف تريت تريتد تريت تريتد باي ذا دكتور اوكي اذا في الباسيف فويس يجب ان تركزوا على القاعده قاعده تشكل اهميه كبيره let's see some other sentences that are in the active voice and we should write them into the passive voice لدينا نوعيه جديده من الامثله this sentence is in the present simple but in the negative form doesn't speak negative and the verb is in the present simple it becomes as usual we start by the object so we say english and remember the structure of the passive voice into the present simple is or are plus the past participle is for singular and alpha plural so we should say english is singular is not why not because you have the negative form doesn't is not the past participle of speak past participle of speak spoken by ahmed right the short form of is not isn't clear let me help you with another sentence ثاني اعطيكم مثالا اخر jack doesn't like or eat doesn't eat pizza so again the sentence is in the present simple in the negative form في النفي jack لا يأكل بيتزا the object is بيتزا is because of singular form negative past participle of eat eaten by jack so we say pizza is not eaten by jack هذه القاعدة تنطبق على جميع الأزمنة jack is not eaten pizza present continuous pizza is not being eaten by jack jack will not eat pizza pizza will not be eaten by jack or won't be eaten by jack it's clear as you show for second sentence sara is narrating a story to the children هنا عندنا اكثر او لا تجاوزنا الاوبجكت ولا عندنا complementary sentence to the children again the most important the sentence هو الاوبجكت باش نعرف او لكي اعرف الاوبجكت كنطرح السؤال what what is sara narrating ماذا تروي سارة سارة تروي قصة so story is the object in the sentence then becomes a and we say ونقول القصة a story is being narrated لماذا being narrated because of the present continuous المضارع المستمر being plus ing is لأن لدينا قصة واحدة stories نقول are is narrated من قبل by سارة تتمت الجملة يعتبر إضافي لمن to the children إذا لكي أعرف المفعول به في الجملة أطرح السؤال ماذا ماذا يروى أو ماذا تروي سارة ماذا يتحدث أحمد 
أحمد يتحدث الإنجليزية clear الجملة الأخيرة هنا he washes the car he is indefinite ما عرفناش الفاعل يمكننا الاستغناء عنه ونقول the car نبتدئ بالobject the car present simple is past participle washed and the subject he is not mentioned ليس مذكورا ممكن أن نقول by him تذكروا he in the passive voice becomes him she in the passive voice becomes her we in the passive voice becomes us they in the passive voice becomes them clear okay that brings me to the end of this lesson i hope you could understand better and remember after practicing you will understand well بعد التمارين والتدرب ستفهمون جيدا That's all for today See you next week إن شاء الله